Hey boys and girls, you ready for our first activity? It's all about sound. Now, if you've ever been around trains, you know there's lots of different sounds. There's the clickety-clack on the tracks, there's the steam engine, there's the, the steam whistle, there's the conductor who's yelling all aboard, all kinds of different sounds. Well, we're going to find out something about sounds and it's a really cool activity that you can do at home. For this activity, you're going to need some styrofoam cups, some string, a sharp pencil, two spoons, and some paper clips. Now what I did is I prepared ahead of time. You notice what I did is I punched a hole with the, with the sharp pencil in the bottom of these two cups. And then I took a piece of string about four feet long and I pulled, put the string right through the hole in the bottom of one cup. And on the end of the string is I tied a paper clip so that when I pull the string this way, it doesn't come out the bottom of the cup. I did the same thing with this cup right here. I put the string through the hole, tied a paper clip to it, and now it doesn't pull out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the string right in the middle. So notice how I'm doing that, and I'm going to tie a little loop right in the middle of that string, just like that. Okay? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of my spoons, I'm going to slip the handle of the spoon right in that loop. I'm going to hang this spoon just like this. Okay? See how it's hanging down with the two cups. Now I'm going to invite my friend Ashley to come over here and she's going to demonstrate something. Watch what happens. This is really cool. Ashley, could you come over here? I'm going to ask you to take each of those two cups and put them over your ears, if you would, please. What I'm going to ask Ashley to do is to bend over because we don't want that string touching any part of her body or any part of her clothing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this spoon right here and what I'm going to get down and I'm going to tap the spoon and I want you to watch what happens. <laughs> did you hear something? I did. Let me do that again. What kind of sound did you hear, Ashley? Sounds like a church bell. Sounds like a church bell. Pretty cool stuff, okay? Now, what's happening when I tap that spoon? Actually, when I tap that spoon, it's moving back and forth really, really fast. These are called vibrations. And the vibrations are going up the string and they're going into the cup. And when they go into the cup, Ashley's brain translates those vibrations into sounds. Now, you can do the, all kinds of different things with that. I'm going to ask, ask Ashley to hold that. This time I'm going to take the string of the spoon out and I'm going to hang a wire coat hanger here. I'm going to ask Ashley to bend over and I'm going to tap that. Did that sound the same or different from the spoon? Different. Wow. I wonder what other kinds of things you could hang down from here. Maybe, maybe a pot from, from the kitchen. Um, maybe something, uh, some piece of metal from the garage. Try that out and create those vibrations and they go up the string, they come in your ears and they make sound. When you hear all of those sounds on the railroad, those are all vibrations that your brain is turning into sound. That's the end of our first activity. Wait till you see what we have for the second one. Thanks, boys and girls.